Are you a massage or bodywork practitioner that needs to learn how to rebook your clients? Hi, my name's Alicia Crook. I'm a business coach specifically for the massage industry and also a massage practitioner and I ran my own clinic for 16 years. My backstory is that I got into the industry because I had scoliosis as a teenager and required surgery. So I had lots of regular treatment throughout my teenage years, which meant that when I, went, when I became a therapist, it was starting to become easier for me to rebook my clients. I also started working in a chiropractic clinic who were really great at rebooking. They weren't worried about it, they weren't nervous about it, they didn't mind having the conversation, and they were actually able to rebook people, sometimes multiple ses in for multiple sessions throughout the week. Because all I needed to do was rebook them in a week or two's time, that made it a lot easier. And because I saw the chiropractors just constantly always having these conversations, starting to have these conversations with my own clients was pretty easy. So what I want to share with you in this video are some of the ways that I learned how to rebook, you know, 95% of my clients. And the way that we do it is just simply by having great boundaries and telling the client what it is that you want them to do. The way that we structure the question means that the, the client gets to choose what it is they want to do, whether they actually want to come back and have treatment or not. And so the way we do it is we basically say at the end of the treatment or at the reception area, if you've got it, or when you're taking payment, you know, I'd love to see you again in a week's time and hold the space. The great thing about this is that clients have the opportunity to go, hey, thanks, I'm good, or yes, please, that would be amazing. Often clients won't rebook if they don't know what is required of them. Not everybody is going to say yes, and that's okay. But what this does is give you the opportunity to say what it is you require them to do and how they can get the best care in terms of the way that they're getting their treatments. And it means that you can just say it and let the clients choose what they want to do. Sometimes people might say things like, you know, I'd love to see you again in a week or two. Have you ever had, you have ever thought of having regular treatment? You know, maybe a tune up once a month, once every couple of months might be a good idea. These are some things that you can say at the end of the treatment that help you to be that health leader for clients to know exactly what it is you want and require of them which can help you to be that health leader and that authority and that person of influence in your community.